The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. I love waking up to see snow. Do you? After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the streets to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointed out like this. He walked with his toes pointed in like that. Look at the path he's making. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. After he found something sticking out of the snow, that made a new track. Kind of looks like he's making a train track. It was a stick. He found a stick in the snow. A stick that was made just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. Have you ever made snow angels? They're so much fun. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into the warm house. He was trying to save his snow. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. Where did his snowball go? You're right, it melted. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamt that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. <laughs>